I'm Brad Nessler, joined in the booth by Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. It's a picture-perfect day as we get set for today's contest between the USC Trojans and the Florida Gators. We hope you're ready for an action-packed game of NCAA football. And here come the Gators. I think this thing's a toss-up. We've got two teams today that can really get it done on both sides of the ball. USC may not be the more talented team in this one, but they have a running back that can take a game over. Look for them to get back to the basics of running the football, mixing in the play action, and to do just enough to win this one. There won't be any upsets today, Kirk. If you're not a junior fan, Florida has the ball teed up, and we're ready for kickoff. Short kick. He didn't get a hold of that one. Swan fields it at the 13. Now we'll get to... This safety's a big time player, but he's gonna have to play his best game today. He faces a quarterback that can make you pay if you're not careful. I'm predicting an interception by this kid today. Ha! I like that! Kirk making a call. Let's see if he picks off one before this game is over. They line up at the 40. It's second down and five to go. They're in the eye. Drops back to pass. Throws this one out to the left. He put a little something extra on that throw, and the receiver mishandled it. He needed oven mitts for that one because it was a hot tamale. Third, Third and five. Yard line. USC sets up in the eye. He's looking to pass, and it's caught, and he's tackled right away. He got it, but it wasn't by much, Coach. Hey, the receiver ran a good route. The quarterback threw it and he got the first down. Plain and simple. First it's first down. down. Ball on the 45 yard line. USC comes to the line with one man in the backfield. Tackle made at the 48 yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. They line up at the 48. Second and seven coming up here. USC lines up in a bunch formation. Simpson gets the call again. Brought down at the 46-yard line. Simpson gets six yards on the carry. They'll line it up again on third down. The Trojans go with the eye formation. There's a play fake. Let's it fly. Hood picks it off. That interception will be credited to the linebacker. Way to come down with that football. That was not an easy play to make. Well, that's just great hands for a linebacker. He looks pretty good out there catching the football. Good field position here. They'll start this drive inside their opponent's territory. The Gators set up in the gun. Back to pass. The linebacker picks it off. At the 40, down the sideline. To the 20, to the 10. He's going to take it to the barn. Touchdown. And that is not what they had in mind. It was simply a bad play. Turnovers are bad on home, but when you add to the fact that it resulted in points for the opposition, uh-oh, that will kill you every time. So the kicker lines up for the PAT. He 
He splits the uprights with the extra point. With less than four minutes to go in the first, the score, USC, seven. Florida, nothing. USC to kick this one off. Number 81 and Richardson set to return. And it's a short kickoff. Richardson takes it to 15. So the offense will come out and try to turn things around after an interception on their last drive. The quarterback has to get that interception out of his head. You can't be scared to keep firing away in this game or the defense will tear you apart. They'll take over at the 33-yard line. First and 10. Number seven with three wide receivers. Allen tackles him for a loss on the play. One yard loss on the play. From their own 32 yard line. Second down. Number seven back in the gun. The halfback with a gear. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Loss of three. Third and 14 coming up here. Ball in the 29. Four wide receivers in the formation. Moves up in the pocket. He's looking. Got hit as he threw. That's a great tackle at the 31-yard line. They need some more yak on that play. Yak, coach? Yeah. Yards after the catch. That's right. Because throwing short like that on third and long isn't going to get them the first down. Chandler is waiting for the snap. Chandler punts it, and he really got a leg into this one. Swan fields it at the 22. They were lucky to prevent a big return there. Yep, that could have been big if he could have gotten a few more blocks and was able to find the seam. From their own 30-yard line, it's first down. Simpson is the single setback. Gets it out in a hurry, and this one falls incomplete. Number 11 was the intended receiver on that pass. That'll bring up second down. They line up at the 30. Second down. Three wide outs here. Drops back to pass. Hits his man in stride. Mathis brings him down at the 45-yard line. The wideout made a good-looking grab there. You're right, and the quarterback threw it as soon as he saw he had that extra step. It's first down. Simpson gets the ball. Youngblood tackles him behind the line for a loss on the play. Second down, 13 yards to go. The Trojans line up with a single set backfield. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Way to keep your head on a swivel, kid. That was a nice job of locating the football and knocking it down to prevent the completion. Sure was, coach. He put himself in great position to make a play. That'll make it third down. He's looking to pass. Surveys the field. Across the middle. He catches another. They brought the house on that one. And this kid shows a lot of poise and moxie in the pocket. He knew he was going to get hit but he hung in there and delivered the ball with accuracy. Fourth Looks one. like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Number 14 comes to the line with three wide. He didn't get it. It's not even close. And that stop really gives these guys a swing of momentum, fellas. You bet, Brad. That defensive play really ignited a fire on the sideline. Yeah, this is a great chance for the offense now to build off that momentum and put some crucial points on the board. First down, look at the throw. Number seven delivers, and it falls incomplete. Burrell was the intended receiver on the play, so that'll make it second down. Second, Second down, 10, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. Florida lines up in a shotgun set. Somehow gets the ball away. It's intercepted. And that's a second interception of the game by this defense. He's 
Congratulations to our players of the game. These guys were playing on a very high level today. Looks to pass. Let's it fly. Caught. And he's hit immediately. Fourth down, coach. Yeah, they just didn't get enough yardage on that pass. Fourth and eight. The Trojans line up the punt. Number 81 is back to receive. He punts it. Number 81 takes it to 21. What do you expect from this offense at this point, fellas? Yep. The old kicker can stop warming up because it's four down football now. You got that right, Coach. The defense did their job. Now it's the offense's turn to try to make this a ball game. Number seven, back in the gun, stepping up. Across the middle, he catches it. He's tackled at the 33-yard line. I thought that one was going to sail high, but he pulled it down. Hey, Brad, the ball is never out of reach if this young man is on the receiving end. They line up at the 33. It's second down. Drops back to pass. And he's going to come up with a sack. They line up at the 27. Third down. The Gators go with the eye formation. Steps up. Number seven. Unloads. And he's tackled at the 35-yard line. Florida will take their first time out of the half. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. The Gators line up in an eye formation. Number seven lets it fly. Picked off, and that's going to wrap this one up. That turnover will probably do it for this team. Boy, when it comes to last-minute drives, it seems like we see more and more turnovers because you're trying to hurry up, and some players just aren't on the same page with everybody else. This drive will start at the 47-yard line. USC will kneel on it here as they count the seconds down. And that's the end of the game. What are your final thoughts? Folks, it's been a lot of fun, and I hope you can join us again next time. Our final score on this one, USC 7, Florida 3. Joined in the booth by Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet. We're coming to you from inside the dome here tonight for our battle between the Nevada Wolfpack and the Iowa Hawkeye. Well, we hope you're as excited as we are for this one. And here come the Hawkeyes. The Hawkeyes have a slight edge in this one, but Kirk, I think anybody can win. What are your thoughts? Iowa has one of their best players lining up in their backfield. Lee, expect a huge game from him running the football and maybe even catching a few passes. He's a tremendous athlete, and they will use him as much as they can. Kirk, great minds think alike. Hawkeyes all the way. up in the pocket throws this one out to the left Mohammed was the intended target so that'll make it third down 
So another third down upcoming for the offense. One man backfield. Back to pass. He passes it. Intercepted off the tip. There's a flag on the field, and I think I have a good feeling of what this might be. On the offense. The corner is the corner. First down. Congratulations to our players of the game. Both of these young men should hold their heads up high today. Nevada will line up in a jumbo set here. And pick him up. And down he goes at the 29-yard line. Motley gains around three yards on the run. They line up at the 29. Second down. They line up in the jumbo set. Motley off the left side. Johnson with a takedown at the 31. A yard, maybe two on the carry. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 31. Tyler back to pass. And he's hit as he throws. He's hit and got away. He's tackled at the 40. That should do it right there. That new set of downs should be enough to run out the clock. Now the defense's only hope is to somehow force a fumble and recover it. Otherwise, this one is pretty much over. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 40. They line up in the jumbo set. Here's the give. Tackle at the 41. The Wolf Pack are going to take a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. From their own 41 yard line. Second down. Nevada lines up in a goal line set. Broke away from one. And he's tackled at the 43 yard line. The Wolf Pack call for a timeout, and they'll have one timeout left. It's third down and seven to go. They come out in a goal line set. Tyler on play action. Looks. Wants to throw outside. Incomplete. It was the tight end who couldn't manage to stay in bounds. Nevada lining up the punt. Mohammed will be the return man. It's away and it's a booming punt. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. What do you expect from this offense at this point, fellas? They need to score, and they need to score it now. Yeah. This is it for this offense. A field goal tight and a touchdown will most likely win. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 20. Drops back on first down. He looks with the throw. It falls incomplete. Flags are down, and this one might be on the offense. Holding. On the offense, the corner is the corner, second down. From their own 20-yard line, second down and 10 to go. Iowa lines up with three receivers, looks to pass. Complete, and they make the stop at the 24. The Hawkeyes are going to take a timeout, and that was their first timeout. It's third down. Iowa comes out with an eye formation. Steps up. He lets it go. That close to being intercepted. That was a dangerous throw. Oh, not a very good decision. He's got to either throw this one away or take a sack. You don't want to go back to the sideline and have a discussion with the old ball coach if that had been an interception. The Hawks line up in an eye formation. Look at the throw. This one is incomplete. They turn the ball over after going for it on fourth down. Yeah, but they still made the right call. At this stage in the game, they'll try anything to get back in it. The offense will start at the 24-yard line. First 
He gets it up. And this defensive struggle finally comes. Folks, thanks for tuning into our game. Our final score, Nevada 14, Iowa 11. Greetings from EA Sports. I'm Brad Nessler, and alongside me are Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. It's a picture-perfect day as we get set for today's contest between the Louisville Cardinals and the Auburn Tigers. Well, folks, we're excited to bring you what appears to be another great gridiron matchup. And here come the Tigers. The Tigers are a confident bunch of kids, and rightfully so. Kirk, this team is just too powerful. Auburn is so explosive because they try to get the ball into this receiver's hands as much as possible. And what he can do after the catch is what makes him one of the best in the game. And they'll win this game big. Hey, everybody's picking them, so I will too. Auburn Tigers, sweetheart. Six. The offense got six the last time they were inside the 20. Let's see what they do here. They sent the blitz and drilled the running back before he could find any daylight. Congratulations to our players of the game. Both of these young men should hold their heads up high today. Newt set to go to the air. Looks. He wants it all going long. It falls incomplete. They'll call on the field goal unit here. The kick will be about a 39 or 40 yarder. It's up, and he got it. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends it off. Foreman fields it at the seven. Once again, for this offense to come back out and start another drive. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 28. They'll throw on first down. He rolls out to the right. His receiver has it. And he's taken down at the 42. And a nice pass to the tight end. Yeah, this is what I like. Move the ball down the field. Use that nice and steady intermediate passing game. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 42. Louisville comes to the line with three wide. Somehow gets the ball away. 
Incomplete pass. Man, I thought he was going to catch that one. He had it in his hands for a second. Yep. And in that same second, the defender smashed into him, knocking the ball loose. Great defense. Sure was, right, Coach. Second, second down, ball, 10 yards yard. to go. Louisville lines up in a shotgun set. Looks to pass. Number 19 passes. Incomplete pass. You got to keep it under control. That's some nice arm strength. But it doesn't matter if it's not on target. You're absolutely right, Coach. You have to be accurate on those type of passes. Third down and 10 coming up. All on the 42-yard line. Three wideouts here. Drops back to pass. Throws it. They can't connect. Incomplete. And there's a penalty on the play. Let's see who it's on. Holding on the offense. The penalty is declined. Fourth down. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Number 19 lines up in the shotgun. Here we go. He catches another. Tackle made at the 47-yard line. Louisville will take their first time out of the half. First and 10. Ball on the 47-yard line. The cards line up with four wideouts. Back to pass. Let's it fly. He snags it. He's tackled at the 39. Louisville will have one timeout remaining. They line up at the 39. Second and two coming up here. Louisville sets up with four receivers. Drops back to pass. Broke away from one. He unloads it. And that one's fallen incomplete. Underthrown intended for the wideout. It's third down and two to go. They're packed in tight on the line. On play action. Let's it fly. Patton tackles him at the 31-yard line. Louisville will call a timeout. And that was their third and final timeout. They line up at the 31. First down. Louisville lines up for the shotgun set. Steps up. Number 19 passes. Great concentration. Auburn will take a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. We've got a first and 10. They're inside the 20. The offense got six the last time they were inside the 20. Let's see what they do here. Catches it. Knocked out of bounds at the 12-yard line. Penalty marker down in the backfield. Might be a holding call. First of the round. Walking the pass. After this to the goal. Automatic first down. It's first and goal. Ball on the six-yard line. Number 19 with three wide receivers. Looks to pass. And he can't make the catch. And that's the end of the game. Coach, what's your final thought on the game? Folks, thanks for tuning in to our game. Our final score, Auburn 29, Louisville 7.
Hey, football fans, Brad Nessler here with my partners in crime, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. Clear skies and just beautiful weather here for tonight's game between the Washington Huskies and the Clemson Tigers. We hope you're ready for an action-packed game of NCAA football. And here come the Tigers. The Tigers expect big things from their guys today. Who do you have winning this one, Kirk? Clemson looks to unveil their high-powered offense. The guy to look out for is their wideout. Lee, I'll tell you what. This defense and this young secondary is going to have their hands full because I think they're a little overmatched. Kirk, great minds think alike. Hey, guys, I'm full with... Congratulations to our players of the game. Both of these young men should hold their heads up high today. The Tigers line up with three wide. Down the middle. They can't connect. Incomplete. A flag came out after the ball was thrown. Let's see what this is. Personal foul. Dropping the pass. 15 yard penalty. Big penalty there, guys. 15 yards. Now he's got to know that the refs won't allow him to take the quarterback down so late. They line up at the 27th. First down. The Tigers set up in the gun. They hand it off. And down he goes at the 23. Number 33 gets about four yards on the play. Second and six. Ball on the 23. The Tigers line up in a goal line formation. Again, he'll get the call. Rucker brings him down at the 21-yard line. Gain of two. So another third down upcoming for the offense. Clemson comes out in the shotgun. Watson drops back. Incomplete pass. Even a great adjustment wouldn't have made a difference on that low throw. His shoelaces need a pair of hands for that pass. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. This one is from 38 yards away. The kick is up. No good. He missed it to the left. Well, fellas, he can't come through with three points. Like corners who get beat on deep routes and quarterbacks who throw a pick, kickers also have to have a short memory. Yeah, I think this guy will be ready to go on his next kick. It's first down. The Huskies come out in the ace formation. First down, look at the throw. He zips it out to the right. Into coverage, and the defense has it. And they come up with another turnover. Now the defense is playing very opportunistic out here today. That was their third interception of the game. 